Well, Dylan, walk us through this one for a team that's trying to find some offense. You get a lot of it. Three power play goals, four goals in total. What was it about the offense that, that was able to turn a corner and come alive tonight? Yeah, I think we were sticking with it, you know. Um, like you said, good to get the power play going there. Um, you know, we got to stick with it. Um, that's a good hockey team there. I think we're a little undisciplined at times. And, uh, you know, we had a chance to get back in it a couple times there and um, just kept, kind of gave up a couple, a couple uh, backbreakers there. So, you know. Best part about it is we get uh, you know them back in tomorrow. You, you had yourself a nice three-point game with a goal and two assists. What about your game? Are you starting to feel a little bit more comfortable now that you're back with the ice hogs and, and getting your legs underneath you? Yeah, I think so. I think um, you know just want to come down and whenever you're down here, you want to win and you want to help out any way you can. And um, you know, for me, hopefully, can uh, you know keep contributing. And um, you know, we're gonna need uh, you know scoring throughout the lineup and. Our power play to be going like it was tonight uh, in order to, to score some goals and uh, beat teams like this. Quick turnaround tomorrow. You already touched upon it playing Milwaukee again. Coach mentioned the emotions kind of got out of control a little bit with all the power plays and penalties. A lot of the offense, too, with, with trying to cheat the game, he mentioned. How do you make sure that doesn't happen with a quick turnaround tomorrow? Yeah, I think we got to start off better. Um, you know, I think uh, we kind of let them back in the game there. And, it, it, uh, you know, obviously in their, their home rink here, they get the momentum there. And it kind of feels like this it's almost an unbeatable game. But, you know, we itched back there. We got to one goal maybe once or twice there. Um, you know, we were pretty close there. We just got to stay out of the box and, um, you know, help, uh, help our goalies out better. You want to keep the offense going, but tighten up the defense. What on that side of the game against a high-flying team like Milwaukee do you want to address in the immediate to see a better result for tomorrow as well? Yeah, I think defense first always. I think the best defense is, or the best offense is, is good defense. I think, um, you know, we got to be better in front of our net. You know, Deals played unbelievable tonight, and somehow seven gets by him. So uh, that's not fair to him. That's not fair to any of our goalies. And, you know, we got to be better in front of the net. we got to limit our turnovers. And like I said, stay disciplined and, uh, you know, don't give him a chance to, to get on the power play there. Is this a nice young team that likes to play in that track meet style where it's high flying, high offense, or is it a little bit more methodical than that? Uh, you know, I don't think so. I think uh, especially against a team like that, you don't want to get caught in a track meet. I think, you know, if we just stick with our game plan, stick with what the coaches are kind of giving us, I think we have a good chance. You know, any night we can beat any team and vice versa. So I think, uh, you know, we got to stick to our structure. You know, we got to get pucks in. we got to wear teams down. You know, it's not fun playing against us when we're in the ozone there. But um, like I said, got to kind of pick and choose when to make plays, when to get the puck in and then help our goalies out better.